as Bitcoin made a run for fresh all-time highs, Sui saw a massive bounce back and is currently up about 28% from the price seen just three days ago. In fact, on the day that Bitcoin did make a run for fresh highs, Sui was the biggest gainer from the top 100 cryptos. And in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show, I want to break down why I believe Sui saw such a strong bounce back and why I think this outperformance will continue for this bull run. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer any sort of financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button. And I really appreciate all the support. You guys are amazing. So without further ado, we are going to hop right into today's altcoin of discussion, and that's going to be the SUI token. Um, we did cover it a couple of days ago on the channel when it was dipping. I said that I do expect it to bounce back strong when the market does bounce back. And yeah, it did in fact see a very strong bounce here from the lows it made on October 28th, currently up over 28% from those levels and back above the $2 mark. So I do want to talk about why I believe this happened and why I think this outperformance will keep on going for SUI moving forward. Uh, but first, I do want to just take a look at Bitcoin and take a look at the altcoin market as well as we usually do at the beginning of these videos just to get an idea of, uh, you know, the, the general market structure. And then we are going to hop into SUI specifically. So taking a look at Bitcoin here, okay, well, it's actually put us on uh, on the daily candle. So we were talking about Bitcoin, um, you know, just really just wait, waiting for it to break out of this downtrending channel that began in March. You can see here that it continuously was getting rejected at this trend line. We saw it actually break above it here in mid-October, get rejected at the 2021 all-time high at about 69000 and then we saw a bullish retest of this resistance line flipping into support and boom, Bitcoin making a nice break above the prior cycle highs and actually making a run for this cycle's high, which came in at about 73.7 to 73.8K. Now, Bitcoin did get rejected here, okay? So it did not make a fresh all-time high. Um, you can kind of say that it did double top here, but I do still believe that with bullish momentum, I personally think that Bitcoin will hit a fresh all-time high before the end of this year if i had to guess um <clears throat> so i'm just looking at this more as some temporary resistance until we see some sort of catalyst or just some buying pressure come into the market whether it's through etfs through institutions through retail investors and once this happens once bitcoin does actually break its all-time high and is in price discovery mode that is when i think alts will start to take off uh, and keep in mind, yeah, Bitcoin is really just within a couple of percent of its all-time highs. And it has been consolidating here since March. So I do think that the likelihood is in favor of Bitcoin breaking out and continuing on its rally. Now, as Bitcoin rallies, we've also seen Bitcoin dominance rallying. And this basically indicates that Bitcoin has been dominating more and more of the total crypto market cap. However, this is a trend that I am expecting to reverse as Bitcoin dominance comes up on that 60% level. Uh, crypto analyst Benjamin Cowan on YouTube and Twitter has shared this view that he expects Bitcoin dominance to top out at 60%. And I do agree with this view. I think that the Bitcoin dominance rally is most likely coming to an end in and around this zone. And that means that as Bitcoin dominance comes back down, that all coins should begin to outperform Bitcoin. And I have said on the channel, you know, my thesis going into Q4 and next year is that all coins will be outperformers here. If we take a look at the all coin index as well. We can see it has broken out of this downtrending channel that started in March. It actually did so about a month ago, uh, over a month ago at this point, and is now above a key area of resistance at the $630 billion zone as it sits at about uh, $631.5 billion. So, you know, all coins looking really good, in my opinion. And I do think as we enter the phase of the market cycle where I am expecting alts to outperform, I am looking for all coins that have been the winners as I do expect them to continue being winners for the duration of this bull run. And Sui is definitely one of those all coins. OK, now we, we covered this project on the channel a couple of days back. I have been covering it a lot more recently as well. Because I do think that this altcoin has the potential to go on a run similar to Solana in, in the previous cycle in terms of that market cap. 
Now, when we actually saw the altcoin market moving down here, Sui is Sui pulled back pretty substantially from its all-time high. It was down about 32% from its high at 237 as it came all the way down to a buck 61. However, as we saw Bitcoin making a run for fresh all-time highs, Sui also saw a really strong bounce back up about 29% from those levels still. And on that day, I believe it was the 28th that Bitcoin did make a run for fresh highs. Sui was the largest gainer from the top 100 cryptocurrencies. So looking at all coins that have been outperformers on the way up and that have been bouncing, have been really bouncing back the strongest after dips because it does show demand from the market to actually get into these alts. And yeah, Sui was the number one performer here on this day. Um, after pulling back about 30% from its highs made in mid-October, I suspect there was a lot of money on the sidelines waiting for a pullback to get into this altcoin, and, that, and then the opportunity presented itself on that dip. Now, from a fundamental perspective as well, okay, the on-chain data shows that, yes, the Sui ecosystem is growing a lot, okay? If we take a look at the top 15 inflows over the past day, we have Sui in fourth place here. Uh, if we take a look at outflows, it's actually in third. But if we take a look at the net flows, so inflows minus outflows, Sui is in third place here on the day. Uh, Arbitrum in first with 7.8 mil in net flows, base in second with 5 mil, and Sui right in third with 4.8 mil, actually beating out Solana on the day, which is coming in with 4.3 mil in net flows. Now, one of the biggest value propositions of Sui, a reason that I do believe it has the potential to go on a Solana-like run, is because a big narrative that Solana benefited from in the last bull run was being the fastest blockchain, and that is no longer the case. Sui is much faster than Solana, able to actually handle a max TPS of 297,000 compared to Solana's 67,000. So Sui, uh, I do believe, will benefit from the narrative that Solana did in the last bull run and that's why i think this layer one has a lot of potential okay and we can actually see this in practice here um, on the on-chain data so here on artemis we have the daily transactions for sui and solana and we're going to see here that back on october 5th sui flipped solana in daily transactions actually processing 58.4 mil versus solana's 35.4 mil However, let's take a look at the average transaction fee here, okay? And on that day where Sui processed more transactions than Solana, Solana's transaction fees came in at about three cents, while Sui's came in at a fraction of a penny, okay? And this is the this is you know the potential of the Sui chain in terms of its transactions per second, in terms of its cheap and almost instant time to finality. Um, which is within, which is under a second. I believe it's like 400 milliseconds, if I'm not mistaken, compared to the 12, 12 something seconds on Solana. Uh, and you know that's why Sui has been gaining a lot of traction. In fact, if we actually go over to, I believe it's Sui Explorer. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Okay, so we go to View More. And, you know, we can just take a look at the on-chain metrics in terms of the growth for Sui. Okay, so there are the transaction blocks, uh, total transactions for this chain here. You know, at the end of September, it was at 4.85 bill, and now it's sitting at 6.31 bill. We can take a look at total active accounts at the end of September, sitting at about uh 22 yeah 21.84 mil now sitting at 25.1 mil so just a ton of growth on this chain okay the total new coins launching as well um the gas here i mean there's just been a ton of growth for sui on chain which does drive up the demand for the sui token itself and here are some great visuals from Torero Romero on Twitter as well. Here is total transactions in October as of October 23rd, so a week back. Solana was in first with 866 mil, and Sui in second with 384 mil. I believe this is excluding Ethereum. Or maybe Ether is is included here. I'm not too sure. And then over here, we actually have, um, this is uh, daily transactions. So Sui and Solana lead in daily transactions, while EVM chains continue to lose market share and slide down the rankings. And this was on October 22nd. So we can see here that in October, there have been two big winners. Clearly, Solana is the biggest winner and Sui is in second place. 
Um, you know, Solana is much bigger than Sui at the moment, but that is reflected in the market cap as Sui comes in with 5.76 bill in market cap, while Solana comes in here with 82, 82.2 billion in market capitalization. So just something to keep in mind. And in terms of the on-chain growth, the total value locked, if we if we take a look here on DeFi Llama at its base settings, Sui is in 10th place with 1.021 billion in TVL. However, I personally, I do like to add uh, staking and liquid staking to this equation. I think that that should just be automatically included in the TVL. And uh, yeah, if we go ahead and add those two to uh, the total value locked, Sui is still ranked in 10th place here with 1.295 billion in TVL and you can see this growth as well here on the charts uh, in terms of that total value locked and something I do find pretty interesting right if we actually take a look at this whenever it does load maybe today but maybe not okay so uh yeah we'll, we'll take a look at that in another video i just wanted to really oh there we go okay so you can basically see here that yeah the tvl on sui came down at the same time that uh the actual price came was also coming down for sui here in august and then boom we did actually see tvl and the price turn around at the same time so you see more more money just flowing on through the chain and at the same time it is driving up the price of the token now to wrap things up i do want to take a look at the price action of the token as it is currently in this range between two dollars and two dollars and 18 cents which is the high that it made here in march when we did see bitcoin and the altcoin market make that local top so in terms of the support and resistance levels i'd be looking for to the downside i am looking for sui to uh, hold above the two dollar zone if it does not i would be looking at a potential retest um, of the buck 75 area and below that the bottom it just made a couple of days ago at a buck 60 not to the upside i would be looking for a break above the two dollar and 18 cent level which was the mark the march high and then if it is able to break above 218 i would be looking for the 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 new all-time highs made in mid-october which came in at about the two dollar and 37 cent range so on that note i hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and hope to catch you in the next one Peace out for now.